this video is a member of the left hand series and I'll be talking about setting up a reliable and consistent left hand. The left hand plays some really important roles because we need our fingers to change the pitch of notes effectively. Having a, a good left hand setup is also really important for establishing a beautiful and compelling vibrato. So some goals in this video today are to establish a setup that has freedom and structure. We want to have freedom in our movements because there's a lot of things that we're doing over here with the left hand, including lifting and dropping the fingers, shifting, moving between strings, vibrato, as I mentioned, um, and just flexibility and relaxation in general. By structure, I think it's important to have consistency in how we're approaching all the movements over here, including our hand frame, how we're putting down our fingers, and establishing a consistent intonation. We are gonna use the magic X to establish where our hand should rest on the neck of the violin. If you can see here, I have a magic X drawn right on that first knuckle of my index finger. And on that X is where the hand will contact the neck of the violin. Our thumb will be right across from that index finger. We can slide on the magic X to make sure we have a really relaxed relationship with the violin. We don't want to be squeezing at all. As you can see here, there's a small space in between my hand and the neck of the violin. That is really important for finding the correct shape to place your fingers on the strings. If there isn't a space there, your fingers are gonna be much higher and being able to curl them over to get on the strings will cause you to have to be on the tips of your fingers and possibly even on your fingernails, which, which will not create the nicest pitches. If your hand is way too low, you won't be able to curve your fingers around to get them on the strings. So that is why that placement is really important.